identify and briefly describe the four major types of modern plants. The four groups of plants are non-vascular seedless, vascular seedless, non-flowering plants which are gymnosperms, and flowering plants which are angiosperms. Non-vascular seedless plants. They were around before the evolution of the vascular tissue which allows for the transport of water and food in the plant. Because of this, they don't have true roots, stems, or leaves. Non-vascular plants often have a leafy appearance with stem-like and root-like structures. They can be classified into three phyla, which are mosses, hornworts, and liverworts. In their life cycle, the gametophyte is dominant. The sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte and produces spores. Vascular seedless plants. They have vascular tissue but no seeds and they grow taller than vascular plants because of this. Most have um, roots, stems, and leaves. Vascular seedless plants include club mosses, ferns, whisk ferns, and horsetails. They tend to have a dominant sporophyte, and once fertilization takes place, the gametophyte will die and the sporophyte will thrive independently. Gymnosperms have uncovered seeds, usually found in cones, and don't have fruit or flowers. They include the conifers, the cycads, the ginkgo tree, and the nettophytes. In its life cycle, the sporophyte is the dominant stage. Pollen from the male cone floats to another tree by wind, then the pollen grain produces two sperms. One develops the egg, which will form a zygote, and the other degenerates. Angiosperm have covered seeds and have flowers and can also have fruit. This is the most diverse group of plants. In its life cycle, the sporophyte is the dominant stage. Flowers have male and female parts. And angiosperms can self-pollinate, so the pollen falls on the stigma of the same flower, or they can cross-fertilize with other plants. Thanks for watching.